a papa, a kiti pe, 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 of le, 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 of Lagos. Set on eh, Rachel, the rapper. <laughs> okay, wait for me. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and on this channel, I film about relationship, lifestyle, faith and love. And today guys, I have something entirely different from the usual things, you know. Okay. I'm trying to get that okay anyways guys today I'm actually heading out I want to step out I want to step out the stepping house is just like the junction of my house it's not so I'm going that far or you so I'm thinking maybe I should make this video when I'm back or I should do it now because the environment seems to be very quiet I think we just have to do it what do you guys think because I might go now and you know get there get back and get tired and <laughs> i don't have time the time time is fast spent so let's get serious My name is Rachel, like I said earlier, and I'm filming from Mondo State, Nigeria. I've not been telling you guys that. The only time I mentioned that was my first video, and I feel like I need to be proud of where I'm filming from, Mondo State, Nigeria. Mondo State, Nigeria. <laughs> oh, why am I like this today? It's all good, yeah? It's all good. So, guys, um, wait for us. Do you like my hair? Do you like my hair? Can you see it? Shelly. <laughs> my sister made it let me tell you guys something funny i actually wanted to make this video yesterday but when i sat down you know i was right in front of the camera because i've been trying to do a lot of things i've been trying to like change my background change this working on a lot a lot basically for youtube of course and you know i sat in front of the camera i got something that i thought okay this is really perfect and we're good to go only for me to sit down i'm like um oh, you don't look good <laughs> i didn't just like what i saw and i was like okay so I, I told my sister i was like can you just help me out like just let me do something i just want to twist it just do something and we come up with this and when we finished it everybody were like wow wow who made your hair it's so fine <laughs> anyways i know you're also saying that and <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you so much okay guys that's that about that let's just get serious today guys i want to quickly talk about criticism criticism i feel like when you hear criticism like you have to just start racing big boom criticism like i'm about to be criticized because yeah if you look at the meaning of criticism it means i don't know but we all know the dictionary meaning you know i, I people most people don't want to be criticized in fact everybody nobody wants to be criticized you know we feel like um criticism is like you attacking all them of course it is you know you're attacking them and nobody wants to be criticized basically because i feel whatever you are putting out there be it your picture maybe your taking a picture and you're uploading it on social media it's going to be your best picture nobody's going to put out their worst picture like you know we put out our best picture so basically whenever you maybe, maybe you've not done something like you've given it your all you've gone through the stress and everything only for you to put it out there and people are criticizing you know you get so mad like wait what am i supposed to do how will you tell me that this thing is not good enough like basically we do not want to be criticized that's why some people will tell you oh the truth is bitter this 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 and if you look at um, all these big organizations, because I don't want to make this thing, I don't want to be myopic basically, Sha. If you look at all these big organizations and you know, if there is anything they're not doing, maybe they are customer service and you're trying to like complain about it, they don't like it. Nobody wants to be criticized. That is it. Because whatever you are doing, whatever you are putting out there is the best of you. So imagine you getting criticized, you know, it makes you mad, it makes you furious. So I just want to talk about that, guys, because um, I want you to know that there is actually two sides to criticism and critics criticism basically is not as bad as we all think it is you know we feel like oh criticism is the end of the world when you're criticized it means you're not good enough criticism does not necessarily mean you're not good enough because um i've been on youtube for like how many months now this is may i've been on youtube for four five months five months basically i've been on youtube for five months now and trust me i've been criticized a lot you know people get to tell me stuff like come on this today i post i, I put 
this i post this video people are telling me this the next one i try to work on it and see the one thing i've just noticed in my journey so far is that these critics like these things they've been telling me has actually helped me to like become better like you know whenever they criticize me whenever they tell me okay uh maybe there is something you are not doing right maybe oh you're too fast your interest is too fast the entire video you're just rushing it why are you rushing to blah 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 in the next video i try to slow down i try to work on that thing so i want you to also do the same thing like basically when you are criticized i don't want you to take it too personal and feel like oh this person doesn't love me and yo this is the end of the world this that take the good things you know there is there there is always something good in critic in criticism you know when you are criticized when people are saying something bad about you don't just shut it off like don't just shut them off and say okay oh, i don't want to associate myself with this you know there's this thing that okay surround yourself with people positive people surround yourself with this positive people that cannot tell you the truth is that one positive people they are not positive people surround yourself with people that will tell you when you're messing up that will push you to do better you know when people criticize you it push you forward it doesn't mean you have to stop doing whatever you are doing maybe you are um a photographer for instance and people have been complaining okay they're editing your picture is too much then you work on it like whatever they are telling you that area that you are lagging and they are telling you okay this thing is not right i feel like we all should work on it embrace criticism look at it as okay, this thing is trying to improve me because yes there is two sides to criticism there is the um, constructive side of it and there is the destructive side of it so focus on the constructive side of it and please just because i said oh there is destructive side of it does not mean when they now come at you you should now start feeling like okay i have to discard this thing because this person is trying to destroy me no there are some people with good intentions you understand there are some people out there that are just after you the betterment of whatever you are doing are you getting it like there are some people out there that are criticizing you because they want to push you forward like they want you to do better if they should criticize you today okay this is something you are not doing then the next one you are going to put out work on it personally guys i even have an og og that criticized all my videos you know when this dude watch the video this dude will come back with okay and see this is what you are not doing right this is this and somehow i have accepted it basically and even when um you watch my video and he's not coming back to criticize it i will start asking guy have fun and you don't see anything what you observe now guy tell me what's in the apple yes that, that i i have actually grown to like love it you know i've embraced it and i've seen it as part of my success because i have learned that if i really want to grow if i really want to go far then i have to start accepting these things okay let me quickly tell you guys something very funny um when i was in school in fact i i, I feel like everyone in school or maybe that you were in school maybe when you were in school or maybe you are still in school basically if you sh if you are still going to school you'll be taught maybe theories scholars um theories and scholars basically sha. and when i was in school guys i noticed one trend and i discussed that with my friend when i was still in school i noticed that all these theories that were being taught like after going through the stress of knowing what this scholar is saying knowing the dudes doing all the sweet sweet things that this person is saying another scholar from somewhere will now come and criticize it at some point i was like wait why are we still studying these things when it has already been criticized like let's say maybe functionalism theory for instance oh i don't want to take this thing to sociology i don't want to i want it to be relatable to everyone but basically if a scholar should come with something another person will criticize it and come up with another thing then another person will come again and criticize that thing and over time we've been able to like it has actually helped us to widen our horizon you know it has helped us to like see things from different angles you know getting different people's view are you are you getting what i'm trying to say like it has helped us a lot and we've gotten to understand these things better like let's say functionalism for instance you know because a couple of scholars that come together you know this one is saying is when you are saying no 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 you shouldn't just depend it on this another person is coming from another theory and saying okay let's study the society using this let's do this and basically it has helped those that are studying this society are you getting what i'm trying to say like all those critics all those things they are saying to this theory we bring up another theory that will help us to understand things better i believe that is quite understandable right i'm supposed to use feminism theory to explain this thing but i don't even want to go into anything feminism for today but i believe 
we have gotten what I'm trying to say. Even science, science students, I believe you guys also do theories, boys theory, chess theory, bosses theory, Bogwats theory. You know, these things, you know, there is always one lapses. There is always something that is lagging. And you know, when this person now comes to criticize it, they bet another theory and this theory will help you guys to understand these things more. So I feel when you are being criticized, do not take it personal. Do not hate those that are criticizing because they are pointing out your mistakes like come on nobody's perfect nobody's perfect and because you are the doer of the action you are the performer of the action you might not know where you are wrong you might you might not even you cannot even know that this thing you are doing is wrong like personally i thought i was talking normal until people started saying oh you to the rush where are you rushing to and you know i begin to like i i, I went back to my videos watched those videos and i was like okay i need to slow Things that after all, nobody's chasing me. A friend of mine said to me, I think a few days ago, it was like, after all, it's your channel. It's your channel. Whoever wants to watch, will watch. If you like, rush. If you like, don't rush. Like, if we, if we really want to listen to you, we will listen to you. So please stop rushing. And you know, there is sense in what that person is saying. So please, guys, if your friend is criticizing you, don't ask that person for it. Don't discard them. Don't block them like, oh, enemies of progress. No, not everyone is an enemy of progress. This progress that you're even shouting, what are you, which, which progress are you even talking about? See it as, okay, this person is helping you to grow. This person is pushing you further. I don't want us to see every form of criticism as bad, bad, bad. There is constructive criticism and there is also destructive criticism. Now, let me quickly talk about um, the destructive criticism, guys. Right? Destructive criticism is that one that is just there to destroy you so like bring you down to basically destroy your career destroy everything you are doing these are the set of people that you know no matter what you put out there they will always find something to say always criticize you see that is why you have to be logical when people are telling you that there is something wrong with something you are doing go back and check it like imagine yourself imagine you are the um, receiver of your product you know imagine you are the user go back to examine it look at this thing is this thing really true give it to other people to help you check it like look at this thing i am doing is this thing true and if the majority should carry the vote then you already know what to do work on it let me quickly tell you guys one funny story this time i posted a video and one of my cousins my um partner cousin she reposted it on her whatsapp status just the one minute clip because i do post it on my whatsapp status she reposted it on her whatsapp status and she wrote hey, this um cousin of mine made me waste my soul blah 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 the video was a waste of time all those things and so i actually think i woke up to that like when i woke up the next morning was a sunday of course i post my videos on saturday so i woke up the next morning and i saw it i was so mad i was like what in god's name is this girl doing come on you should come to me to tell me this thing not going on your whatsapp status to publicize it i didn't want to encourage people to watch these videos i got so pissed so i messaged i was like why have, have, have you seen this video like what exactly what exactly is wrong with the video and she, she didn't watch the video yes i found that she didn't watch the video and i was like what in god's name are you doing you didn't watch this video and you really think you can just go out there to tell people stuff like no i will not tolerate this so i told her i gave her a piece of my mind and told her i don't have anything to say to you like i feel like you are i shouldn't associate myself with you basically so i stopped talking to her and even after that guys guess what i did i went back to three i think three or four of my friends hey please let me watch this video tell me anything you notice and when they did not tell me that this video is a waste of time like they, oh i gained a two a thing or two i did start even though of, of course the video had complaints like oh you're not doing this thing right but at least the message they're like oh it's actually a very nice thing so i knew she was just saying it to just destroy me she was just saying what she got to say at that moment not because there was anything reasonable so that is why when you are being criticized take out your time look closely look deeply into it is this thing really wrong what can i do to make it better it is not every time that people are criticizing that we just accept it oh you said i don't dress nice then you're just gonna be preparing yourself no there are some things that you know people just gotta talk you know those ones you those are destructive criticism those ones are just there to just bring you down like my cousin yes even if she's my cousin she wasn't you know she just wanted to make me feel bad i don't know her intentions so she apologized and i've forgiven her but i i'm just i just want to share it with you guys so 
that is that about that guys you know you should identify destructive and constructive criticism constructive criticism is out there to make you get better while destructive criticism is out there to destroy you and even in that destructive criticism you can still find something good out of it so please embrace your friends embrace those that are telling you the truth don't just discard them that's why people will say oh truth is bitter yes the truth is always bitter <laughs> the truth is always bitter but if you really want to progress in life you want to move forward then you have to learn to start accepting the truth oh with that guys i've officially come to the end of this video i don't want to start paraphrasing like you know saying the same thing over and over again i've officially come to the end of this video thank you thank you thank you thank you so so much for watching this video thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up share this video with your friends drop your comments because i would definitely love to hear from you and most importantly guys i've got a page on instagram it's open up underscore check that page out guys i discuss relationship and lifestyle i write i do all those nice and juicy things there so check it out guys because i post every day i post every day so check it out make sure you follow the page and just in case there is anything you are going through be it your relationship your personal life basically relationship yeah, and you really want to talk to someone about it you want someone to hear you out you can talk to me i'll put my mail my whatsapp number and everything you need to know about reaching me personally in the description box so be sure to check that out when you are done with this video and if you've watched this and you haven't subscribed why why haven't you subscribe 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 don't you want to be seeing my beautiful face <laughs> please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and do not forget to come back here next week saturday for another bangalistic video from your girl thank you once again for watching goodbye Hey, Shakia, these people are disturbing us. Ah, this is why I don't want to record this thing here. When you are starting it, they will not come. But when you are already in the middle, that is when they will start coming. All of you people, how to maybe I should do like um um what do they call these things? Oh, this thing like a bot and put it here. Filming in progress. <laughs> Please when you get there, slow down. <laughs>